when the narcissist realizes you are never coming back. At some point, you got fed up of the narcissist. You had enough of the abuse. You couldn't deal with it anymore. You wanted peace. And you knew you weren't going to have that with the narcissist. So you left without any intention of going back. But how the narcissist responds to that is very different to how a normal person might respond in a normal relationship your partner will be full of regret they will feel sad and guilty they will feel sorry for what they have done and they will wish they had done everything they could to save the relationship but it's very different when you are dealing with a narcissist they won't feel any regrets they won't feel sorry for what they did and they won't feel like they could have done anything more because they won't accept any blame for why the relationship ended they will always have an excuse They will shift the blame onto you. When the relationship ends, you will experience their bad attitude. You will experience their lack of desire and determination to achieve something. Because they don't really believe you're not coming back. There may have been times in the past when you said it was over for good. But you still went back. So they don't believe you're serious. They don't believe it's over. Because they've managed to get you back in the past. They've hoovered you. They've made you feel bad for them. And you took them back. So they don't realize that this time is different. Which is why even if you block them on social media and you ignore their phone calls, they will still try to win you over because they think you still want them. They think you miss them. They're very arrogant and entitled. They think they're the best thing since sliced bread. But if you continue to not respond to their Hoover attempts, eventually they will fall back. They will wait for you to contact them because they're expecting you to come running back just like you did before. But if you continue to stay no contact, eventually they will fabricate an emergency. They will invent an unexpected and dangerous situation that calls for your immediate action. They will create a sense of urgency to get you to respond. And if you do respond to it, you will realize that it's not as serious as they led you to believe. They just did it to get you to engage in conversation. But even if you don't respond, they will refuse to accept that you're not coming back. They will become paranoid. And eventually that paranoia will turn into rage and revenge. They will start a smear campaign against you to take the focus off of everything they did. They will make false accusations. They will say horrible things about you to other people. 
they will play the victim to make people feel sorry for them. They will use it to get supply. But when that supply eventually fails them, they may try to hoover you. But it's not because they love or care about you. Everything revolves around what they want and need, which is why they don't feel any regret. Their feelings have nothing to do with how you feel. They don't feel bad for what they did to you. They're just upset that you're no longer meeting their needs. They don't see you as a person with feelings. They see you as an object. They see you as a possession. Which is why when all is said and done, you feel like you never meant anything to them. Like you were just an object to be used. Because when you finally walk away, they react with manipulation, anger, rage and revenge. They try to replace you as quickly as possible. Because anyone is replaceable to a narcissist. No one is important to them. There's no sentimental value. It may be hard to let go of the narcissist. But when you realize this truth, it should make it easier for you. Your relationship with the narcissist will never get better. But you can and you will. So stay strong and remember why you left. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.